which raises the question of, but why though? Now for the bad news. DLSS 4.5 also includes new frame generation features that, in this case, are exclusive to 50 series. I know, I know, but I mean, come on. Does anyone even want 5X and 6X frame gen? That is up to five generated fake frames for every single natively rendered frame. I am gonna need to try this. There's definitely artifacts. Around hard edges, you get a little bit of that almost like heat distortion ripple effect, and not all the lighting looks quite right. Bit of weirdness in the aliasing. But I mean, to their credit, it looks pretty darn good. Of course, this is like an ideal scenario at a slow moving idle camera here. There's no way they're gonna let me move the character. Oh, I can just move the character? I can move the character. I'm gonna move the character. All right. 6X frame gen. It's pretty good, what the hell? Um, one of the big improvements is that without needing any developer input, they can account for uh, UI elements much, much better. So you can actually see the odd little bit of weirdness. Like you can see there's like a bit of yellow behind this, like the, the leaves when I'm too close to it, but not much. Like look at that, it's almost translucent. You know what, I think that might've even just been my eyes playing tricks on me because there's a little bit of yellow light cast here, and I thought it was, I thought it was grabbing something else. No, the, the translucency of the HUD elements is really good. I can still make it do kind of funky stuff on my compass when I rapidly change direction. So the dial has to go the other way. But I gotta really look for it. Even if they can fix the image quality though, one of the big concerns with multi-frame gen is latency. And NVIDIA's own marketing acknowledges an increase of five to seven milliseconds between 4X frame gen and 6X frame gen in Black Myth Wukong. So that's on top of the latency increase that you've already got, which raises the question of, but why though?